we go. <clears throat> well, welcome to anybody who uh, planned to catch the, the stream live. I'm extremely late today. So, whatever. <laughs> In any event, we're back at Cliffside. And I think we're going to have a good time today. It's Friday afternoon. Any of it. We're going to continue working on this city. Get, we got plenty of money in here. I think I'm going to take this opportunity to uh, redesign this section here so we can have some on and off ramps. So we're going to pause the city. Because we need better connection to our industrial. I think we want to come down from here. And just match into here. Let's see if we can do that. Oh, that actually looks mostly good. Alright, we're actually going to redesign this entire entrance to the city. We've got the money. So we might as well do it here. I'm hoping it'll allow me to draw a nice flat road down the hill without being all lumpy. A little bit of a lump coming in, but I think we can deal with that. And actually we got one down there too. Alright, maybe we just need to find a flat place for this road because can't bring it straight in. It won't really work. I'm gonna come off of here just a little bit because I like to. And then we'll try to get a little there we go. And let's see what kind of a curve we can make here at the entrance. Mm. It's not really doing what I want. I'm just trying to flatten out there. I don't understand this. Why can't you just go nicely up a hill? I've been having troubles with roads like this for a while now. And it's just so annoying. All I want is a nice flat road like this. I wonder if we can just cut it into this hillside here. That actually looks pretty good. Whoops. Actually looks pretty good. may just have to work, and I, I, I totally hate it. Hmm. 
This road is so good up to here. Maybe I'm being a little bit of a perfectionist here with this entrance, but I want it to look good. Well, it's still going to be all lumpy and weird at the entrance here. Pretty much no matter what I do. Or so it seems. Maybe I can do something with the spline tool here. Never had a ton of great luck with it, but it could work. Hmm, it's looking pretty flat so far. How about that? Better. Probably about as good as I'm going to get from that entrance. And then we can take this. Make sure we've got a nice straight angle here. Hopefully this works nicely. Do we have a lump again? Yes. Got to be kidding me. Alright. Maybe what we do is we have our end point here. So let's draw it closer to the cliff. Hmm, that one, like that. And then I want this one. Come down. Right here. I think it's a little too far out, huh? Maybe we have to have it here. It's going to cut off too much of that. Alright. Let's just do this a different way. Oh, not entirely. <laughs> That's about how I want the road to go. And let's see if we can connect it with a curvy road up here. Ooh, that looks pretty good. I think we'll take it. A little bit of lumpiness here, but I can live with that, and this entrance I can't do anything with. <laughs> so, alright. So that looks good. We can 
Um, <coughs> now the entrance to the upper area from well, everybody from down here is gonna, and, and what we're actually gonna do, that's right, is we're gonna curve this road down. Let's do that here too. I forgot I was gonna do that. I don't think I'm actually gonna curve. Well, I'm, I'm partially gonna curve it, but we're gonna go straight down because we want it to be a cardinal direction. And then we'll make the curve come in here, like so. And then we're going to work on this section. A lot of bulldozers. There we go. I'm sitting around for just a second, get those cars off the road. Or off the grass. <laughs> Care of these couple things here. There we go. Now. How do we want this to go? Because I kind of want to come across here. And maybe we'll come across more in the middle. Something like this. Oops. Let's see how big one of these is because it's the part where the bay comes in the most. We want it to at least be able to fit a high density building. So, let's build out something like this. We'll have, we have some coastal, uh, some coastal high density buildings there. Uh, probably just be residential because that's what's going to be down here. We're going to curve this section here too. And then let's build this entrance and exit here. Because I think we're going to have the on ramp come up here. Make sure we medium density. Or the off ramp, rather. The, from the residential area going up to the industrial area. We're going to have it come off there. And then this one's going to come up here. Oh, 
Wow, I'd have to go a long way, huh? What if I just did straight? Wow. It's hard to believe that we can't get this to go anywhere in here. Maybe we have to move this back some. There. And maybe we can get it to come up here. There's only a couple spots where this is really working. I don't want to make it. Maybe. Where's that spot? Just. Mm. Don't like the way that looks either. I'm just hoping I can get it. Where's that? It's not one. Oh, we could come out over here. If I can get a flat exit. Where's that look? I can straighten this out a little bit. Goes in the mountain and comes out up here. I do like that. Because then what we'll do is we'll take this and this road will curve kind of around the the edge of the cliff here. And we'll hook it right into the end of this dirt road. Which we'll obviously upgrade when I get there. There. Now we'll turn this into medium density streets. So people can get to their jobs. Now for people to leave. Let's see. We're gonna need for them to be able to come down and go this way. All right? Say exit. This is gonna be their entrance on here. Yeah. See where this fits up here, hopefully. I'm not sure where I want to put this road. And we'll come up this way a little bit, and then we'll try to come up here. Let's 
my road grade to Steve. There we go. We can come right up like that. That should actually work pretty well. Now, if I had one-way streets, obviously I could make the one and off and one and on, and then we'd be good to go. But I can't really do that, so we'll just pretend that it works. There. Now with all of that in, let's finish this connection. that so that I can, I'm going to make a, an angle there. Actually, I should just do it like this. Come out a little bit. Down, and then I'll we'll use this one. Hopefully, we'll get a nice edge on it. Sometimes it likes to have this weird, it's got a big crack in that. I don't like that. I'm going try to try to get rid of it here. So it's just making it worse. Oh, I think I know. I think I know what I need to do. I should bring this out like here, and this out like here, because then we can come off of that a little bit. And that way, it's not the end of the. It's not the actual end of the road, or that entrance. It's it's actually a different piece of road. And then it's gone. Let's see, nice smooth intersection all the way through. Or not intersection, but. And I know we have plenty of room back here. We actually almost have enough room to fit too, but um, I'm probably going to put some services back there because that's. They're going to be right on the highway. Um, and I want them just to be able to get to, to anything in the city really quickly. I'm wondering if we should do some sort of intersection here. Or maybe we'll just do a T intersection. Like that. We'll still have much of the entrances and exits here for, uh, for buildings. But I also want to figure out where to put the... This is going to need an exit, like, over here. Because this is where the university is going to go. And I want to, I want them to have kind of a path right out of, from, from the residential section right out into the, the school. See, we can put it actually, let's put the school right on the water here, or facing the water. Because then, we can bring this right over the top. Right there. And then 
him a present right in here. There. Hmm. There we go. Now it's residential time. I'm going to build up this section first because it's going to be the largest and it's all going to be low wealth. If I'm going to have any high wealth, it's going to be along the coast here. Um, and I think most of my service buildings are going to go over here. This isn't going to be an intensely high population city. Um, obviously, we don't have a ton of room to work with. Um, but it'll have a decent, it should have enough to run all the buildings. Plus, we'll have uh, some people from the arcology. And, should be a good time. There we go. As usual, if you're watching live, feel free to join in the chat room and give me your opinions. I don't promise that I'll listen, but I'll definitely pretend. <laughs> if you're watching on YouTube, again, feel free to comment. You'll just have to uh, wait a little bit longer. Your decisions have less impact on day to day. Oh, uh, <laughs> I gotta put the town all down. Which would actually look really good right here, and everybody would drive right by it as I came into town, as I came to work, really. I like that. I'm gonna keep it there. Hmm, can't fit that front over there. What if I put this sideways? <laughs> Ooh. <coughs> that actually works really nicely. Or even better, I think we can face this the other way. There we go. That's what I wanted it to look like. Boom. City Hall on top of the hill. I have a couple parks back in the corner here to make this medium well. I think I might put my uh, mayor's mansion back here as well. Or mayor's, uh, sorry, mayor's mansion's going on the beach. Mayor's house, probably back here or something. make some cross streets and try to make as usual try to keep uh, keep away from four-way intersections I'm gonna try to make these relatively even I'm gonna put 
one coming this way after this break. And then I think we'll actually connect the ends up here. Much like that. That should work nicely. Hmm. I can actually fit more up here, I think. It's definitely more than one back to back. Maybe I should actually go up this way. There we go. That should be very nice. I'd like to have this street cut through this rock. We'll see if I can make it do it. Mm, it's going to be road grade too steep. And I think I can even take the ends off of this and go like one more down maybe. There's some old school manual terraforming here. Cause I would like this to be flat. Let's see, it's not going to let me do it. I'd like this to be flattened out so we can have another set of houses back here. But if I just draw this across, I'm pretty sure it's not going to let me zone there. Yeah, can't zone there. So, I guess we're going to have to... Um, I guess we're going to have to go sideways at that point. Take this road out. Let's see how many we're going to fit wide here. Four wide? That's actually very perfect. Too wide out here. A little bit more room. There we go. And then I think we can make this one too wide. Ooh, maybe not. It's very, very close. Nope. Alright. We'll just leave it as it is. I 
leave this road here. I realize we're pretty low on money at the moment, but we'll get it back. There we go. Now, there we go. Should actually zone that commercial down at the end here. That should fit in the best. I'll put these up here. These are some commercial over here. There we go. This can be commercial. I think this will be commercial. We'll put some residential here, residential here. Or maybe this needs to be commercial. I'm trying to mix it in pretty well so that, you know, Sims aren't driving too far just to get some groceries or whatever. I think this is where we're going to put this. Way back in the corner where it's not going to mess with much. Put residential both here and here. And I think this corner will be all commercial. <coughs> we should have room actually at this part of the corner for something else. Although, really, I think we could. Uh, how close is that? It's kind of close to that intersection. I think we could do that, though. Mm, I don't like that. We'll figure something else out. We'll put something interesting in that corner. Because um, we can fit another high-density building here. But I don't want to put... Uh, I don't want to zone one. Because I, I don't know. I don't like to zone on, on freeways. Or on avenues, rather. Alright. Now let's put some services back in. What do we got for bonds we can take? Oh, good. Take one out. Pay these two off. And we'll take another one out. I'm trying to decide. I think we'll be fine. Let's put, uh, let's just put the small fire station up here. Of course, we'll add on to it a little bit in here. And then I think we'll put the Clinic right down here. Or the hospital, rather, not the clinic. Hmm. We may have to save up for that. Because police, we're going to go with the uh, regular police station for now as well. We don't have a ton of commercial. We don't, you know, there's not. Not a ton of craziness going on in this city right now. On it there. We'll do a little bit of expansion on that as well.
Now, we will let this city run. Let's see what happens. And I'm hoping... Let's see, they're, they're going the wrong way. <laughs> I was hoping that would work a little bit better, but if we had one-way roads, it would be different. And if we had one-way roads, it would be two more intersections as well. And these are growing up nice and fast. Oh, and we forgot to hook up. <laughs> we forgot to hook up our water. Um, let's actually just hook this right back up to there. No, it's a four-way intersection, but it uh, shouldn't really matter. Let's put the low density street. Everything seems to be growing in very nicely. is coming along. I'm going to work on this industrial section next. Make that nice and, uh, well, industrial. <laughs> Since we're going to be building a processor plant, I think we'll try to figure out a place for that. I wouldn't mind getting the ore mine, you know, building this other ore mine. There's another deposit up here. Mm, I wouldn't mind building that other one. Yeah, see, there's a good deposit right here. But I have to de demolish a bunch of stuff like this trade depot and, you know, the metals HQ. And I think it might, and yeah, probably it's going to mess with my connection to the trash trucks. I've made my decision. Save a little bit more money and then decide. Fish. <laughs> Dirt bros be hatin'. <laughs> That's a good name. You're saying I should fish? Because I don't know how to fish in this game. I didn't know you could. if that'll help. Or if they'll just all take that, you know, try to take lefts off the freeway. <laughs> See, I, I didn't think you could fish in this game. Seems like we're still getting some traffic jams up here. Although it seems like people are going where I kind of want them to. I 
think we're going to end up needing to disconnect these two. Um, in fact, I'm not sure. Because I think I have too many people trying to use this one. I mean, it's fine for exiting, that's what I want it for. But um, not enough people are using this one for the entrance. Too many are trying to come in this way, which doesn't make sense. And I think that's because they're coming up here to work. So maybe when I put more industrial down here, it'll work itself out. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to pay off some of our bonds here. I want to see, but I don't think this is working as intended either. Yeah, everybody trying to take lefts off the highway, and that's not what I want. Just do that. See, clean that right up. Everybody trying to take rights off the highway. They can pile up getting out of the school. That I'm okay with. Everybody's trying to get in here, too. Maybe I should actually connect this. As another... Valve, if you will. <laughs> Everybody seems to be just totally pounded on this area for traffic. Okay, maybe. Ah, uh, yes. I think I should do my little trick here of turning these into at least medium density. If not low. To help uh, through traffic uh, on, on the highway. I may make another route from down here somewhere to go straight up to the, the industrial section, but I'm not sure that it makes sense right now. I could do something like, you know, come up here or something. That would be kind of neat. I wonder if that would cause more traffic, having that intersection there. Because they can get directly to where they're trying to go. Let's see. Yeah, this little thing here isn't working too well. 
You think it'll sort itself out, uh, dirt bros, the traffic? I don't know if I like this here either. I thought it would look better than it really does, and it causes a ton of traffic here. Let's take that out. I think part of our problem is this intersection. We need to move some stuff around up here. Okay. <clears throat> In fact, I think I need to save up a little bit more money first. Pretty soon here, we're gonna we're gonna rearrange this whole section up here and do um, do something a little bit different, or do do the whole thing a little bit different here. <laughs> Bridge from residential tunnel to industrial area. Yeah, and, and that's that's kind of what I was doing there, but it, it didn't. I, I need to I need to rearrange some stuff up here. I think to actually make that work, um, or or I could even come off of this other side here, um, and do something like this. be kind of cool. Let's do that. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, why is my... And I think my planning camera might not be activated. Oh, it is. Wow. Oh, it just looks like I can't zoom out quite as far. Yeah, it's it's hard to get the whole the whole thing here. But you can kind of see what's going on. I have my residential section down here. They have a little off ramp to get to the uh, school, which is working pretty well so far. And uh, just little utility section over here. And uh, a couple on or a couple tunnels up to to the industrial section. If I had one-way roads, this would be the exit from the freeway to come up here to the industrial section, and then this would be the entrance to the freeway. But I don't have one-way roads, so they kind of do whatever the hell they want. <laughs> I think we'll upgrade this road here. Oh, yeah, working on, this is all high-density uh, residential. Um, working on that part, it's, it's, I actually just rebuilt it. Um, so I'm just waiting for everybody to move in. Uh, the city's still pretty young. It's the first one in the region, uh, which is here. If you like to see the region, this Horizon Archipelago. So I'm starting here, and then uh, work our way out, and I'll eventually hopefully fill up every city with something. Yes, I don't have any parks because I haven't wealthed up yet. I've been trying to encourage low uh, 
low um, wealth population for now while I still rebuild this area. Plus, they're easier to keep happy. Most everybody's going to school. Highway traffic congestion. I don't see any highway traffic congestion. In fact, it looks rather nice at the moment. It's 6 p.m. too. Everyone should be coming home from work or going to the night job. Yeah, Dirt Bros, don't worry, We're, we'll upgrade their wealth soon. Um, but I'm not gonna, I, I just don't want to spend the money on parks and stuff at the moment. Uh, besides, if I'm gonna have low wealth people, they're gonna be back here. A um, couple maybe medium wealth against the cliff or something. But uh, in this section is where we'll do our high wealth. And uh, I'm not sure what we'll put over here, but we'll put something over here. Oh, I do, uh, I keep forgetting, I never put this back in. <laughs> Definitely not happy about that. Uh, let's see here. Let's actually put it right here. How much do I want to upgrade it off the bat? Not much. We'll do it as we go. Yeah, um, actually, Dirt Bros, this isn't, uh, this particular one is the industrial section. Um, I, because of this middle island here, what I would like to do is actually have, I'm going to put an arcology here because this island is going to have, like, the, the, uh, that's where most of the population on this island hopefully will live. Um, is in this arcology and in this city, which is going to be all the basically all the industrial and just some commercial for them to shop at for day-to-day -day stuff. These two areas, though, one of them is going to be a really big, like, central business district type commercial area, and the other is going to be an amusement park total tourism area. So, um, we'll get there. Got to build up this first region first, <laughs> though. So, that, that way we can... Get some money. And it says they're edu yeah, they're low skill level. Well, they're getting educated here. Do we have enough? Hmm. Let's wait till we have three hundred and fifty, uh, three hundred thousand, and then we'll then we'll put in the other ore mine up here, and we'll move this uh, metals HQ, and then we'll start actually building this section out to be what it should be. There's a processor plant, or a processor factory, whatever. People are most happy, which means they should be getting ready to upgrade to high density sometime soon. Let's see here. Eh, still got a little ways to go. But they are increasing in happiness, so that part's good. Oh, how much ore is there? This one's got plenty. It's got a 14 month supply, which in SimCity terms is eternity. <laughs> and uh, this other one up here. Uh, where's my ore map? There it is. This other one up here is a little bit smaller. 
but it should totally be good, and it should be enough to get us over some hurdles for um, the Metals HQ. Because what I like to do here is actually smelt all my own alloy. So hopefully I'm only, in order to make processors, and I'm only importing raw ore and plastic. Um, which then, you know, I'll smelt my own alloy, and then I'll, I'll actually do the same for, um, for uh, computers. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll make this a computer area where we'll, we'll just import plastic for the processors, and then once we run out of ore, we'll have to import raw ore, but until then, we'll use up our raw ore. Should be pretty good. Should be pretty profitable. <laughs> One of these times, I want to make a city that actually, like, you know, makes its own plastic, and makes its own ore, and makes it, you know, does does kind of everything all the way up through the process until you have a, a computer or a TV or something. Uh, I think you'd have to find a very specific map for that because uh, not every map has sufficient quantities of, you know, coal. And because because I think you need coal to smelt too. Crap! I forgot about that. Do I have coal? Oh yeah, a little bit of coal here. That's it. Hmm. Well, we may be importing coal, too. I'm not sure. I say we're taking this region as we go. Oh, we're over 300,000. I haven't been paying attention. Where will you import those other materials? Oh, you, you can just import from the global market. That's that's how you do that. Weird. Oh, it's tech. Interesting. From from the global market, uh, dear pros be hating. It's uh, I can, I'll, I'll show you as soon as I get there. Yeah. Let's see. I kind of want to make this a straight road so it'll inter intersect with these other ones nicely. Maybe like that? Let's actually, let's actually come down just a little bit more. Move that fire station anyway. Yes, yes, for our ore storage lot needed. I know. And we're going to put another ore mine up here. <laughs> yeah, dirt bros. It, it's the delay is is so annoying, but um, you know what are you gonna do? <laughs> Let's see. I think I think I want this one here. Two ninety one, two seventy five, fifty eight, two seventy five. 
That should work. This is really just our secondary mine anyway. It doesn't need to have a ton under it. But, I think, how much room do I have on this side? Kind of a lot of room. Maybe I'll actually put my HQs up here, kind of along the ridge. Hmm, perhaps we will do that. Yeah, I realize I didn't hit both of those dark dots. It's not that huge of a deal. Um, It'll still mine just as fast, it'll still do 120 a day. Um, it just won't have quite as long that it can go. Um, but, you know, if 14 months lasts you like 10 in year games, or in year games, in game years, you know, uh, where this says, you know, May of year 10, and if, that, if that's 12 months, then, dude, that's forever. We're going to have a small interruption here, but that's okay because this is going to come out more um, as we need it. Which, speaking of, it's actually, we should put a couple of those on too. <laughs> then yay! <laughs> oh, look at that! I couldn't, I couldn't have planned that better. I got lucky. I think from here we're actually going to curve this road. Yeah, let's do that actually. Curve this road kind of back on itself so that it can hug this edge here. And then we'll connect it to whatever we, we put up here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm very familiar with what the raffle copter is. <laughs> I wonder if the mining shaft is going to break into the, <laughs> the tunnel here. Uh, that'd be funny, actually.
Ooh, that's pretty close to the edge. I think we can put one more road up at the top here, though. Yeah, because otherwise we'll start hitting that. Yeah. We'll make sure there's plenty of room for it. Bring this back this way. And I want to make sure I have enough room for... Can I fit one on the other side here? No, we didn't think so. But one, two, and one more. I think we can attach it something... Something like this. I just still have to fix this, but I'm probably wasting some space there, but I'm pretty okay with that. And that intersection shouldn't bother anybody, especially since I'm going to make this low density. And we'll have a little bit of wasted space, but like I said, I'm fine with that. something like that for now. Obviously that's going to kind of change as this grows, but we'll deal with that as it happens. Oh, and we need to connect this. Time to zone. Some of these buildings will be blocked while that's still there. And that's being difficult. No, well, okay, it's going to be difficult. Whatever. I think. I think we hooked everything back up right, right? Yeah, we did. Let's put our um, let's put our trade depot over here. I 
and put a couple of these in because that is all we need right now. And so, um, <clears throat> Dirt Bros, just like you can export uh, stuff like raw ore, you can also import it uh, from the global market. You're either exporting to the global or importing from the global. And you can do the same with things like uh, plastic, for instance, um, to, to build processors or, you know, whatever else you're going to do. Then let's also put in the Metals HQ. Which I think maybe we'll put right here. Yeah, because I think on this side we're going to put the Trade HQ. And... I can't think of anything else that I'm missing. Oh! Fire Station. Where do we put the Fire Station? Maybe right over here, huh? That looks good. Let's do a little one for now. Maybe as the city grows, we'll switch it out for a bigger one. I'm feeling generous here. I have a couple of those. And plate. Now this should grow some. Obviously we need some medium wealth residential soon here. But we'll see. When, as soon as these grow, we'll see what they what they actually want. Uh, time to upgrade our university. Because I use solar power, we're going to put a uh, science, school of science, down first. Uh, and actually, before I do that, probably just don't have enough money to put it back down now. I want to bring this back to like here. Cost 40 grand. <laughs> yeah, I'll just take out a bond to do it. Because I'm lazy like that. I also want to, yeah, see, I want to research it too, which costs a bit of money. So we'll take some more out because I don't want to wait. That takes quite a long time. <coughs> Excuse me. Looks like we got some good medium density buildings coming in right away. Well, let's see here. We got 14 month supply under there. This one's still getting fired up it looks like because I know it's doing more than 12 tons a day but we may just have to wait for a few minutes Thank you to my new followers on Twitch. Hopefully you enjoy my stream, which sounds very dirty if I say it like that. <laughs> Looks like we're doing okay on these. Probably need to do an upgrade sometime in the near future. Let's see here.
most of my traffic is students, which is both good and bad. At least people are getting to school, but they're also clogging up the streets. They're getting there very smoothly, except that they're not moving in this section back here. <laughs> yeah, dear bros, I'll, I'll try to watch on uh, my phrasing. <laughs> it looks like my intermixing of uh, commercial with industrial uh, was fairly accurate because it uh, people I, I don't see a lot of commuters well commuting to, to shop uh, you see a lot of them walking which is perfect that's actually exactly what I wanted I kind of wish more people would walk to school but I guess they decided it's too far Otherwise, traffic seems to be going very nicely. Worker shortage. Well, they need to increase their density. I'm waiting for 6 p.m. here on this panel, so hopefully uh, I'll get to see some good traffic of these guys exiting and entering uh, the, the commercial area, or the, the industrial area. Yep, yep, dirt bros, it's uh, more staff than student, or more students than staff, that's par for the course. <laughs> I think what we'll end up using this section for is our processor plants and stuff. It is 6 p.m. Looks like looks like very smooth traffic for people going to and from work right at 6. Ah, there we go. There's some extra traffic. Looks like our little shortcut here is a little bit too short for some because they don't want to come out and around to work. But some still come up here. many deaths. There's one. Such a complainer. Happiness is doing all right. Ah, full storage went away right away. Another person? What do you mean, Dirt Bros? Oh, watching my stream? Well, welcome. <laughs> I do this mostly for myself, so if you like to watch, that's even better. I'll also post these up on YouTube. 
Uh, although the video conversion seems to take a long time, so we'll see how quickly I can get them up on YouTube. But they will be uh, they will be in my highlight reel for for Twitch if people want to watch it, you know, uh, after the fact. <laughs> There we go. So we still got 110. So you can't get those links. What links? Sorry, I don't I don't know what you're <laughs> what we have for let's see, I'd like to put a bus system in maybe. Everybody's low wealth right now, so buses would work pretty well. Yeah, let's put a bus in here. Get a few people riding that. Hopefully a few people are adding that anyway. We'll put one over here by the school. We'll put one over here so people can commute over here. And we can even come to the, straight to the courthouse or to the thing. Oh, um, so yeah, you can, the, all you have to do is look at the highlights, uh, thing on my, uh, on my Twitch channel, and you should be able to get those, um, because those are already posted. The YouTube ones, um, my YouTube channel is linked in, in my, uh, in my Twitch channel. It's just that the videos aren't there yet. Um, they're taking, I don't know, a couple days now to transcode, so I'm not sure what's going on there yet. I may, I may just have to switch over and not rely on Twitch's uploading to YouTube and just do it myself from, uh, from my computer here. Which is fine, I have local copies of the, the streams, I just figured Twitch has a nice export feature so I would use it. Although, I don't know if nice is the correct word to describe it now. There. Some people using buses. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, th this is only episode three. You haven't missed a lot. Uh, I have a feeling this is going to be a really long series in this uh, in in this region because uh, there's a lot of cities to to, to build, a lot of lot of stuff to do. And now because most of these guys are low wealth, they should, and I emphasize should, like to take the bus. Which then should clear up some of our traffic, too. I 
that trade depot is filling up quick. That's what I like to see. We're actually going to put in another trade depot, and I think I'm just going to put it up in the corner here. I'm going to actually plot a couple different lots so I can hopefully unlock the uh, trade HQ. Because I think what I'm going to do eventually is actually have this section right here. I'm going to put the uh, trade, uh, trade depot. Is that what it's called? The bigger one. Trade port. It's going to go up here so we can use the, the railway. So we're waiting on our profit to go up a little bit from ore. Looks like everything's actually making its way out of the city much more nicely now that we have some buses. There's still some traffic, but it seems much lighter. We'll wait till 6 a.m. here to be sure on that traffic, but. In fact, we'll watch the population map as it goes. There, everyone's leaving for school. Yeah, there's not, not a lot for me to narrate here. Uh, Sorry, <laughs> just gotta wait for, for everything to grow. It's it's a little boring when when you're poor. <laughs> Once we get this city finished, though, we'll have plenty of money for all the other cities, and uh, we'll have all the approvals and stuff already for a lot of things. So that'll make it much much more interesting. Uh, plus, it'll make it much more fun to build. I, I like to build when I when I don't have a lot of restrictions on trying to to fit into it to money. Of course I like to make my cities make money, but it's nice when you don't have to really worry about it. Yeah, I exactly. Uh, about the, the last traffic comment. The buses take care of a good chunk of it, and you can see most of this is moving along really nice. Some of these people feel like they want to get in here. Um, whatever. They can wait. <laughs> There's some, a couple high density buildings coming in. Like to see that. Well, I think we're going to call it a stream for the night. Um, it's actually a couple more things. Do our add-on here. Here. And that's power. Yeah, we'll do a couple more power cells. There we go. So we got plenty. 
Thank you, King Rec. It's just the start of the region, um, but I'm glad you like it so far. <laughs> well, sorry you've been lonely in chat, Derp Rose. But I'm going to call this the end of the stream for the night. I'm going to go uh, go to sleep a little bit here. But I will be on tomorrow, and I'll be streaming much longer because uh, I don't have to work. It's Saturday. Um, got a friend to help out with some IT stuff, but after that, we'll be all good to go. So, <laughs> I will see you guys tomorrow. And uh, if you like what I do, follow me in uh, Twitch and uh, follow me on uh, YouTube. And I will see everybody tomorrow or some other time. <laughs>